How you doing folks? This is Rex at the Buckeye Nest. And you know you're never going to believe who I ran into. Anybody here recognize this gentleman? This is President Lincoln. He was born in 1861. Of course, if you follow your history... President in 1861, born in 1809. Oh, I just got straightened out. He was the president in 1861, but he was born in 1809. You're looking pretty good for... Almost 2,000 years old, sir. Yeah, so. Uh, he's going to speak downtown tonight. Now, this is a Friday evening, and we're in Tip City. It's the 175th anniversary for the city of Tip City in, in Ohio here. And uh, President Lincoln has got a little speech he's going to give. And he's not going to do the whole speech, but he's just going to tell you what he's going to do today. Are you coming back here tomorrow, sir? No, I'm not. I'm only here this evening. Okay. But uh, tonight I'm going to talk to the crowd and tell them a little bit about the Ohio 164th Voluntary Infantry Regiment okay. that I addressed when I was in Washington, D.C. And I'm going to do that address for them. And yeah. then, of course, I have a special presentation to make. I was in Ohio in 1859 and invited to speak at the state capitol. Uh -huh. And so I have a little gift for the mayor and uh, with doing, John, done jointly with Senator Bill Beagle. Will he be here tonight? He, he'll be here tonight. Wow, that's pretty neat. I have to tell you something. I recorded you over at the Patriot Freedom Festival in the Dayton VA. And uh, you did a fine job over there, sir, and you're doing a really fine job here. Well, so, thank you. So. Thank you. It's Anything else you'd like to tell it? Because I'm going to record your whole dissertation downtown there later on this evening. Well, one of the things that I always do when I talk to people is I thank the veterans for their service to the country. You see, because of them, we enjoy the freedoms and the independence that we have. Mm -hmm. And each time that I speak, why, in addition to thanking them for the service that they have provided, I recognize those who have made the ultimate sacrifice on the fields of battle in defense of our liberty and independence. And it's correct that we should erect bronze, marble, and granite monuments and statues to them. But more importantly, they live on in the more enduring monument that's found in the hearts and the lives of each one of us who love liberty equally for ourselves. Thank you, sir. I don't think I told you, but I'm a veteran myself. Oh, you saw my hat? But one of the reasons I brought up the Patriot Freedom Festival is I had another question. General Lees and Grant was running around over there. And I know General Grant, uh, no, General Grant Lee surrendered to you and General Grant back in the day. How long did it take you to catch Lee? Well, the war started on April 12th, 1861, and Lee surrendered on April 9th, 1865. Okay. So it was four years short, three days. Yeah. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I'm going to catch up with you uptown later okay, tonight. Okay, very good. And uh, I'll be able to get your whole speech and, and everything then. So you have a good day. Well, thank you.